En hommage à M. Jacques Parizeau. Today, the flag at Quebec's National Assembly flew at half-mast. De ce grand Québécois. While inside, politicians of all parties paid tribute to a man who devoted his entire career to building the modern Quebec state. He, he was a very sincere and honest man, deeply convinced of his own ideas. He was uh, really believing the best way for Quebec to enrich itself, and it was the independence of Quebec. Jacques Parizeau grew up in a privileged Montreal family and was one of the first Quebecers to attend the London School of Economics, where he earned a PhD. He entered the Quebec civil service as one of a handful of bureaucrats who masterminded the quiet revolution in the 1960s, playing a key role in the creation of the Quebec pension plan and the nationalization of hydroelectric power. He was never happier than when he won a bureaucratic competition against his federal government counterparts over money and power. Eventually, that led him to support Quebec independence, a conversion he once told me happened on a long train ride from Quebec City to an economic conference in Banff. I started to write my paper. I hadn't had time to write it. And it started as a Federalist paper, and the conclusion was clearly uh, sovereignist. You know, it seemed so obvious after so many years that we couldn't go on divesting Ottawa of its power, its money. Uh, and, you know, we were very successful in doing that. God, we were good. <laughs> he was finally elected Premier in 1994 and led the sovereignty movement to within two percentage points of attaining its goal in the heart-stopping 1995 referendum. On that fateful night, he seemed to blame immigrants for his defeat. That speech would haunt him for the rest of his life. He resigned as premier the following day, widely denounced for his xenophobia. In retirement, Parizeau would often cause headaches for his successors with ill-timed attacks on their stewardship of the sovereignty movement. He recently said the Parti Québécois had lost its soul. However exasperating he was to both friends and political enemies, today they all pay tribute to him as a towering figure in Quebec politics. Terence McKenna, CBC News.